Hello there everybody, Sam Straits here and at long last welcome back to the railway and welcome to a brand new series of live streams. Uh, man, it's good to be back doing these again. As you know, these are my probably my favourite things to do of all the different videos and various different things I make. Uh, yeah, I just love these live streams. So welcome back, welcome back. We'll start off by giving some shout outs. So if you want to shout out, uh, let me know down in the chat. Uh, I know there's quite a few people here and it's lovely to see so many people here. Thank you very much all of you for, for coming in and joining. Uh, so if you don't get a shout out straight away don't be upset I'm not ignoring you uh, just keep trying and hopefully you'll get there through so man this chat is going fast hey did I not enable slow mode on this mmm maybe I didn't well we'll have to see how this is going anyway yes 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 says gallium gamer oh the chat seems to have slowed down a little bit now I've said that so everyone's saying hi 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 everybody's saying hi there's an egg then I don't know says T Dorian Okay, I haven't seen an egg, but if there's an egg, I will uh, have it removed as soon as possible. Shout out, says the Tommy Edward. Well, there you go, there's your shout out. Shout out, please, Sam, says Trainline5000. Uh, Pacific CY says hi. Adam Broomfield says hi. Oh, thank you very much, Lewis Hughes. Thank you for the super chat, that's very kind. C Bayless. Man, I'd forgotten about those sound effects. Lewis Hughes, there it is. Man, I'd completely forgotten about that. That scared me to death in the first 10 seconds of the stream. That's ridiculous. Right, so the chat is going crazy. Like I say, I think I forgot to enable uh, slow mode, so if it does go a little too fast and I can't read anything at, at some point, uh, I might enable slow mode. Uh, that's not me just being nasty, uh, but it's just so that I can actually read what people are saying. But Adam Rushton, there he says, he says, spot me. Uh, there was Michael somebody or other that wanted a shout out. Um, so there you go, Michael. If I see your full name in the chat, I will uh, give you that shout out later on. Connor and his dad, yay. I love that username. He says shout out. Uh, okay, I tell you what, I'm going to bob down out of shot. <laughs> I haven't disappeared, I'm just uh, working down here on this laptop and I'm going to enable slow mode just so that I can read the chat because uh, ever since I've said that, the chat is literally going, oh, you can see probably how fast it's going. So, I think I should be able to enable it. Uh, if not, um, I'll tell you what, I'll let you, I'll let you chat every 20 seconds rather than putting it up to a minute or anything like that. Okay, let's see if that's worked then. Hopefully it has. I'm sorry that you can kind of just see my elbow right now. It's, <laughs> it's good in, It's good content, isn't it, that? So there we go, there we go. Hopefully I'll be able to see that. Ah, that's better. Dom Wibbly, good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon to you, Dom. Uh, oh, Black Shadow, he says, please give me a shout-out. There we go. Uh, okay, Gene Lamb says, shout-out, please. I don't think I've seen you before, so welcome. Uh, can I have a shout-out, Sam? So Sam says Roblox, uh, Roblox of videos, I think it was. Just disappeared before I got a chance to read it, so I hope I said your name right. Tracy and Ben, Karifa, I think it says. Can I have a shout-out? Yes, of course you can. Snail Coop, shout out. Uh, military Nerds there, shout out please Sam. Hope your new channel's going well by the way. Uh, cool Train Fan, Mitzi Castro, there you go. Uh, Cornwin Yip, shout out. Uh, oh sorry, I missed what you said there. Lego Master 365, thank you all so, so much. Okay, so I will get back to mm -hmm. some... Ah, there we go. <laughs> Lego Master 365, thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. So here we go. We're in a brand new series of live streams, and there's all sorts of stuff to all sorts of stuff to do. Uh, we've got some unboxings, as you can see. We've got some unboxings to do right now. In fact, oh, don't want to give away any surprises. Uh, so we've got unboxings. I've got a review to do. I've got a running session to do. I'm going to be doing requests. Uh, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so I hope you're going to really, really enjoy it. As you might know, we have got Super Chat enabled down in the chat. Uh, so some of you will, most of you in fact, will know what that is already. But basically it's a tiny little dollar sign that enables you to donate tiny amounts of money towards the channel. And that money goes into the everyday making of videos really. So it's buying equipment, buying new models to review, just the day-to-day -day costs of running a YouTube channel. Uh, obviously there is absolutely uh, no requirement, there's no expectation of anybody to send a Super Chat. Just being here to watch the streams is more than enough support that you need to give however if you watch the channel on a regular basis and you enjoy it and you want to see it do well you know if you want to support it then you absolutely can do and a massive massive thank you in advance to anybody that does that obviously though I want the super chats to be a two-way system I don't want it to just be me taking so I'm trying to give back as much as possible so I do take requests if you want to have well you can pick basically any logo in my collection and run it uh, all you have to do is donate a super chat of five pounds or more or dollars or euros or anything like that and you include in the super chat message don't forget to include it the loco you'd like me to run and I will do it live on stream for you and that's just my little way of uh, saying thank you 
Also for this series of live streams, I am going to be running another competition and anybody that sends in a super chat of any amount will be entered, including the people that have already sent them today. Uh, so one of the prizes is this. It is a cow and uh, he has a name. I haven't, I haven't talked about this name at all. Um, I did ask last time, last series, uh, if people would uh, suggest names and I did get quite a few suggestions. Uh, but yes, he does come with a certificate. Are you ready? Let's see. Right, name reveal. There we go. It is Brisket. Oh. Ooh, there we go, Brisket. So I was thinking of funny names, hopefully food-related names. I thought of quite a few. I think Burger was one and Braising was another one, uh, just beef-related. <laughs> Not that you should eat plastic cows by any means. Uh, but yeah, Brisket was the one. And this is, what number is this? This is number four of ten. I'm only going to be making ten. So first prize is Brisket here. He's part of the Bullman family and he can be yours at the end of the series. I will be. Oh, we've got a whistle. Charles Curtis. Wow, thank you very much, Charles. That's very, very generous. And talk of the devil, you are entered to win old brisket here. Uh, I'm going to have to be careful not to keep saying Boris because uh, I seem to have Boris in my mind. That was last time, of course. Okay, so if you were watching Monday's review, you might know that uh, that is not the only prize this series. I realise that uh, the more serious modellers among you, and I'm sure there are some, uh, might not quite enjoy the idea of having a giant cow to run on their layout. So the second prize for this series, ah, there we go again. Oh, let me not reveal it too soon. Jack Clark, thank you very much. Oh, he wants to see the Duchess of Rutland and Evening Star on a Pullman Express. If you kindly please, good sir. Well, I kindly do please, no problem. And thank you very, very much for that. I do appreciate it. Anyway, second prize is this. I reviewed it on Monday. It's the Hornby Shunters truck. They are wonderful things. And uh, so, yeah, if you want a chance to win that or Bullman, uh, unfortunately, there's no telling what you'll win, so there's no doubt a serious modeler might still win Bullman, but at least you've got a chance to win something else. And the Ugly Duck Man, there we go. Uh, oh, thank you very much. He says, nice to be back. Uh, let's see about BR Blue Merchant Navy with Bullmans. I uh, know some folks like those. Okay, we'll have to see. I don't know how many Bullmans I've got right now. I've given quite a few away, but I should have one or two, so that's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Okay, so we're going to get we're going to do some running straight away. So, as you might know, I do have a members program, and if you're on a PC, you can scroll down and you can see you can join. Uh, the members get all sorts of different perks and things. You get early access to all of my videos, uh, no ads as well. You don't have to watch ads on those. You get behind the scenes content which I accidentally leaked the other day as well by the way so enjoy that if you if you did see it uh, it's gone now but uh, if you got onto that uh, I hope you enjoy it that's a little taster I mean I didn't mean to do it but I'll pretend like I did uh, and you get all sorts of stuff but you also get a request uh, per series of running sessions per series of Sam Stones live even uh, so here are some of them for today so on the outside line this is a request from Phil Jackson so he requested oh William Town. Oh, thank you very much, William Town. He says, can you please run the, uh, oh, the East Kent Railway Adams Radio with one four-wheel coach, one box wagon, and two teak class three coaches, please? Yes, I sure can. I'll have to make a note of exactly what that was, but yeah, I can certainly do it. Mm. So, Phil Jackson, as I say, he wanted to see a standard class four and the schools class double heading with a mixed rake of Mark One coaches. And he specifically said he did not want to see all of the same coaches because he knows that uh, I tend to do that. Ooh. Paul, oh, blimey, don't ask me to pronounce that. Sternitsky. Oh, yeah, that sounded all right. T uh, thank you very much. s and djr 7 f Tender First. Ah, what was it? I missed it. Uh, tender First with a brake van and coal wagons. Okay, well, that sounds fine. Do you want the brake van at the front of the train? Either way is absolutely fine. So, yeah, so he wanted, so Phil, anyway, wanted to see a mixture of different coaches, Mark 1s. And he also said it did, he didn't mind which loco went at the front, but the front engine had to be tender first. And I've missed another super chat that we go and see. Blimey, they're coming in thick and fast. Thank you so much for everybody. Danny Scott, thank you very much. You two are entered to win uh, Bullman or the Shunter's truck, uh, whichever one you're lucky enough uh, to win. Okay, so yeah, so I've put the schools, uh, schools class at the front and that one is uh, going tender first, as you can see. Okay, so on the middle line, we have a request from another member who's Lego Master 365. You wanted to see Adderley Hall with cattle trucks. That's a nice easy one, so I like the sound of that. And then on the inside line, we have Steam Traction Spotter who wanted to see a Merchant Navy with Paul uh, in order to try and recreate something like the Bellman British Pullman. And uh, as you know, uh, the Merchant Navy class with Pullmans is one of the most requested things I get asked to do on these live streams. So very glad to see that. I've decided not to go with Canadian Pacific today. That's where everybody boos. Uh, but I've gone with uh, Bibby Line just uh, to change things up. Uh, the whole class is set to go the wrong way, but let's fix that. There we go. And Phil Jackson's double header. 
with the schools class and standard class four. And I think that might be the first time I've ever done that. I don't think I've double headed those two before. So uh, that is very, very cool. So let's have a quick run with these then, and then we will get on to the book of the live stream and uh, we'll talk about the train fair stuff. So I like this. I think this is my favorite so far, even though they're all very good. Smoke box to smoke box. <laughs> it's quite cool, isn't it, that? Uh, let's have a look at this camera. I need to get used to editing these live streams again. Boo, says Mark. Yes, he's, uh, he's upset that I haven't run old uh, Canadian Pacific. But never mind, never mind. I'll certainly do it soon. There's no doubt that Canadian Pacific will appear at some point. Mallard with the sleepy train, says Shandor or Dan. Well, it's interesting you should bring up Mallard. I think it's Mallard's birthday today, isn't it, according to the NRM? Uh, somebody said that anyway, so uh, whether there's any truth to that or not, I know not. But uh, if it is, happy birthday, Mallard. I would sing happy birthday, but uh, some people have got headphones on, so I'm trying to be a little bit considerate towards them. Nice, says Mr. Steel Your Bread, and Lewis Hughes. Thank you very much, Lewis. You are very kind. Um, yes, you're entered to win the two prizes. And good luck, I hope you do. Well, of course, I hope everybody does, but uh, either way. Uh, Model Rails Hornby says, Hi, Sam. Blimey, I thought it was Hornby for real then. Crikey, you got me scared there. Blackbird says, Lol, beggars can be choosers. <laughs> well, they can't, in fact. Well, beggars, I guess beggars can be choosers. It depends what they're choosing. I don't think that was Hornby, was it? Model Rails Hornby. That looks like a, a Hornby fake account. Although, if it is, hello. I'm, well, there's no reason why. They might not be watching, I guess. I don't know. I doubt it. I'm sure they've got much better things to do. Let's look behind the computer desk. Hello. I need to remember to wave. There's a lot to remember with these. Oh, Ethan's trains. There we go. He's got a crying face. I assume he wanted to have a shout out as well. Can we have some diesels, Ned's trains? Well, of course you can. As If you want to request one, I have no qualms about running them for you. And happy birthday, Mallard, says Inferno, the game guy. Yes, happy birthday, Mallard. If it is your birthday, if it's not, well, you, you can have a happy birthday from me anyway. Uh, save it for your next birthday if it's not. Why am I talking to Mallard? I know, I mean, it's unlikely that Hornby are watching, but chances of Mallard tuning in are quite slim, aren't they, relatively speaking? Okay, well, thank you guys for those requests. Obviously, more requests coming up later, and thank you to everyone else who has sent them in. I'm going to speed up the other engines, because luckily, or unluckily, they're both right at the other end of the room at the moment. So I'm going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs. Oh, blimey. Merchant Navy's racing. Not that you can see it, but uh, it is. <laughs> but no, thank you for those. Those were very good. I always enjoy running requests. Um, I don't know why. It's just lovely not choosing engines to run. It's lovely just to uh, you know look at the list and find out what people have chosen. Because uh, it's always different to what I would pick. Not in a bad way either. It's just uh, I think most people are, are a bit more creative than I am. So there you go. There's a, one last look at those first lot of requests. <laughs> oh, my word. Steam Traction Spotter, thank you very, very much. He says, good to be back. Can we have a 9F or a large freight set? On a large freight set, in fact. Uh, well, thank you so much for that. That's crazy, by the way. Don't send me that kind of money. Um, but I appreciate it. Thank you for that. And yes, I will certainly do that at some time. And Milo McQuillan, thank you to you as well. Um, and Brisket says thank you too. And uh, he hopes to be moving in with you very soon. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's next? Uh, okay, so we'll do a few more shout outs and then we'll get on to the, uh, the bit that everyone's interested in, uh, which is the train fair. So let's have a look. Anybody else that wanted a shout out that didn't get one, uh, pop into the chat right now and we'll see. Okay, so Gallium Gamer, Sam, if you can shout me out, please boost my channel. I do model railway stuff, running sessions as well. Okay, so go check out Gallium Gamer. That sounds pretty good. Black Shadow, um, yep, he's got an idea for something I could run. That's not a bad idea. The E2 and the 9F. I don't think I've ever done that before. Uh, quite a few people saying happy birthday to Malhard, UP05. Uh, happy birthday, Malhard, yes. Uh, I'm doing very well, thank you, Adam. Thank you. Thank you for asking. I have a couple of shout-outs to do, by the way. So let's do those. I know I've been doing them, but these are people that have asked in advance. So I've got a special one to do for Simon Wiggle. It's his birthday on March the 7th, so it was a few days ago. Um, I don't know how old he was or is now, but uh, either way, happy birthday. I hope you had a nice time, Simon. Uh, Jelly's Trains as well, asked for a shout out. And also, Trains with David 2018 has a birthday tomorrow, I think it is. So, happy birthday to you tomorrow. Uh, the Ugly Duck Man, oh, thank you very, very much. Uh, can I change to V Trains 37 and Mega Boxes, please? I will try to remember that. Uh, in the scramble to get these things done, I'll, I might forget, but I'll, I'll try to remember that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. Uh, Arthur Southern says, shout out. Yes, of course you can. There you go. Uh, who was that? Uh, DA, DAH, cool Minecrafter, bro, 
says, uh, can I have a shout out? Yeah, you can. ACB, thank you very, very much. He's asking for another Thomas and Friends video. Well, uh, just hold on. There is a few more of those on the way. Oh, okay. And uh, DAH, cool Minecrafter, bro. Oh, brah. <laughs> He's, uh, he says it's his birthday today, so that's pretty awesome. Do a military style train, says Thunderchild189. That's a good idea. I did do it a day with war trains once, so if you want to check that out, feel free to. Uh, I loved all the Thomas episodes, says uh, Black Shadow. Well, that's good. I don't know if you mean mine or not, but uh, whichever ones you mean, glad you enjoyed them. Uh, Luigi Maria Bertolo Toldo says shout out. There you go, there's your shout out. Alan Torres is there. Hello, hello. Uh, shout out, please, says Nicholas uh, Vangamert. I thought he said Voldemort then. Blimey. <laughs> Got to behave with Voldemort's in the chat. Um, so anyway, sorry. Sorry for insulting your name very slightly there. Uh, can I have one? A shout out, says Grood on the Pokemon. He wants one shout out. Well, there you go. I won't say your name again because technically speaking, that would count as two. Uh, and no problem for shouting you out, Gallium Gamer. Uh, Devon Reeves, give me a shout out, please. Keegan the Gamer says hi. And Lewis Bentley says, please, can I have a shout out? Yes, you sure can. Okay, so let's have a look then. Mm, I think we'll get on to it then. So the question is, folks, I did cover up the coaches that uh, I've bought at the train fair. So the question is, and I'm going to put it to the chat, do you want coaches first or wagons first? Um, the wagons are a bit less of a surprise, um, but I don't mind which we do first. So... We'll have a look in the chat and we'll see what happens. And uh, by the way, anything that I unbox here today, um, not the Loco, I'm not going to unbox the Loco, but I'll talk about it. But anything I unbox, you're welcome to request to see uh, running a bit later on. So uh, if that's something you fancy, we'll see. Okay, let's have a look. Anybody got any uh, suggestions of the, as to what we start with? Uh, it's coaches or wagons. Uh, the coaches I'm amazed by, by the way. Uh, we'll see. Trouble is, there's about 30 seconds lag, so I end up having to wait. Okay, so we have one vote for freight cars. Inferno, the game guy, says freight cars. Jay Rodin says coaches, wagons, coaches. Okay, there's a lot of picks for both, but I think coaches have it. So I was deliberate. Uh, I was deliberately obscuring the coaches in the thumbnail, so nobody knows what they are except me. But uh, that is going to change. So these were a bargain. They were Hornby coaches, I think you can tell. But uh, we're going to get these out, and I think today, by the way, might be the most unboxings I ever do in a single stream or video. Okay, are you ready? Now people have been... Ah, <laughs> that's, I've got the volume on really loud today, so it, it shakes the room every time that happens. Will you be doing a, re a review of the Oxford Rail Railgun? Yes, I will, but I'm waiting for the Bosch Buster version, so it's coming soon. Uh, so, I've been told all the time in the comment section that I need to work on my rolling stock and get some nicer quality rolling stock. So I saw these at the train fair, there's four of them, and I couldn't resist. So here they are, they are Hornby. Let me read exactly what they are. So this particular one is R303B. It's a BR Monsell Corridor coach. It's a first class coach and it's 7229. Yeah, that's right. So the RRP for these is about 40 quid or something like that. And to me, I've never liked the idea of spending 40 quid on a coach. And I don't think I've ever done it. I've never spent that much. But there was a seller at the train fair who had about six of these. I only bought four, but he had about six. And he had them priced at 16 pounds each. And I think, because I was buying four, we even knocked them down a little bit more than that. So we're talking less than half price. However, <laughs> Bullman, honestly, every time, <laughs> he's, he's got good timing. JB Dolan Studios, thank you so much. Uh, can you do a triple header from Percy Duck and it's just disappeared. And Thomas with the Cream and Red Coaches from Bailey also can have a shout out. Well, yes, you can. And thank you so much for the support. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we're talking 15 quid a piece. So we're talking, what? 60 quid, so a little more than the price of one for four of them. So, uh, but as I say, I don't know what the condition is like. The seller said that the condition was good, but uh, I don't know. And it's a long time since the train fair, so if they're no good, I can't take them back. Uh, so, let's get this one out. And we'll do this quite quick because there's four of them, obviously. And uh, it's not ideal, actually, to be doing this in a chair. Normally, you want a, a solid surface to do this on, so I might break them. So, uh, if you've got a screen recorder, folks, uh, you might want to record this. Sam breaks the most expensive coaches he's ever owned. Ooh, they're nice. Well, I'm looking at the wheels straight away and they seem to be perfectly clean, which uh, suggests that it is probably uh, pretty well looked after or maybe even new. It's got sprung buffers. Right, I'll tell you what I've done. I've set up a camera. There we are. <laughs> it doesn't fit onto the platform very well, so it's a bit of a fail, but uh, there we go. 
you can have a bit of a close look at some of the details. Those handrails, by the way, on the doors, uh, they look like they're separately fitted, which is quite crazy. And uh, we have to do the uh, mandatory buffer spring, don't we? <laughs> there we are. They are sprung. They're a bit... Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of plastic behind there. There's no actual spring, but they do spring, which is good. And you can look at the windows, by the way. I'm noticing all of this for the first time. Normally when I review stuff, I, uh, I take a good look before I press the record button, but uh, I'm actually seeing this live. Uh, but yeah, look at all that printing on the windows and the interior as well. The underframe looks pretty good. Okay, so that's that. I hope you like seeing that. Uh, it's a lovely coach. I love that. And there's four of them. So we'll get through all four if we can. Um, oh, I'll put them there. So I'm not going to go through all of them in that level of detail, uh, but I will tell you what it is. So this one is R3, uh, sorry, R4304B, not got my glasses on, I ought to have. This is the composite coach and it's number 5683. So that's what you want to look up if you want to spy exactly what I've got. Uh, so it looks to me, to the untrained eye, it does look a little bit similar, uh, although the description is a bit different. But uh, I think they can all run together in the, same, in the same rake, I hope. Now this one's got a detail bag. Let me show you. Oh, this is cool. Right. Let me show you what's in here then. So we've got alternative couplings, it looks like. So you've got these, I think they're close couplings, and they just literally clip straight into the NEM pockets. And that you can close couple your locos, and then I don't know what these long bits are. I'll have to read up and find that out. But uh, yeah, that's quite nice. It says alternative couplings. So I might try those one day, but uh, perhaps not today, because that's going to be a bit of a faff, isn't it? But let's get this coach out, have a quick look. So yeah, it's, it's largely similar. I think there are differences, but uh, as I say, this is the first time I've looked, so I've not had a chance to have a really close look. But they are miles better than what I've owned before. Uh, I think I'm going to still keep my old Southern coaches because uh, I rather like them. But uh, yeah, be looking forward to uh, getting these running. And I have got a request to run something with Southern coaches later on uh, from another engineer. So I reckon I'll be... Uh, I reckon I'll be doing that, uh, I'll be getting them running at some point. Okay, so let's do this nice and quick then, let's get the last two out. What do you reckon to these, by the way? Do you like them? Cool, says Connor Poloski. I'm glad you like them. Oh, okay, Adam Rushton says he's got some Hornby Pullman coaches that light up. Now, I'm not that advanced yet, I've never had coaches that light up, at least I don't think. But, uh, yeah, they are, they're the, uh, they're the ultimate coaches, aren't they, really? Um, but yeah, never had any of those. My Pullmans are quite basic ones, unfortunately. But uh, I think Pullmans always look nice, don't they? Right, so I forgot to... Whoa, Pullman, sideways. Pullman is sideways. How's your day? It's very good, thank you. Uh, can you do a Class 66 in freight line delivery, pulling a train of intercity... Ooh, swallow coaches. Well, I've only got two intercity swallow coaches, so that will have to suffice. But if that's all right with you, that's all right with me. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that. Uh, okay, I forgot to look at what this one was. Either way, it looks... Similar. It hasn't got the first class stickers or uh, labels on the doors. In fact, uh, this one didn't say first class. So uh, I wonder if this is. Hmm. I wonder if this one's the composite coach, because the other one said first class um, on the side of the coach, but it didn't say so on the box. So I wonder if they're in the wrong boxes. Uh, oh, this one seems to be in the right box. I'll have to check the running numbers. Uh, but this one is our 4320B. It's a BR Monsell brake composite coach. So I did buy a brake. He had, a, uh, I think, two or three brakes. Uh, but uh, I only bought one brake and I bought the, uh, the rest of the composites and whatnot. Okay, so let's get this out. I seem to only have one pack of the uh, close couplings though, if that's what they are. Uh, so I don't know exactly how many were in there, so we'll have to look and find out. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. Okay, so this one's a little different. I'll, uh, ooh, there's some nice detail. Need to not get too carried away with this. Right, let me show you this a little bit up close. I'll show you the brake section just so you can see how it differs. So yeah, I mean, they are wonderful. I'm, I can see why they're expensive. Uh, right now, I, I'm still not sure I would pay 40 quid, but uh, I reckon 30, I would pay quite happily. Look, there's printed work on the ends, and they look to be in good shape, don't they? Now, I mean, I can't fault the condition. Um, clean wheels? Let me show you those wheels. <laughs> we all like to see clean wheels, don't we? Ah, yes. Lovely jubbly, nice clean wheels. Okay, so that's the coaches. Uh, let's get onto some rolling stock then. Uh, there's no choice in this now. We have to get onto rolling stock. So there's quite a lot here. I can't exactly remember what the deal was with these. Um, I got, I think there were three for ten pounds. So I bought. <laughs> well, we'll see how many. If you want to count, you can do. So. There we go, we're going to add to the ocean of ocean wagons. I think already I have 19 ocean wagons, so if that's correct, uh, this will make 20. So that is pretty crazy. So if you've never seen an ocean wagon before, here it is up close. 
Ooh, an old wagon shoved right in your face. That's exactly what you want, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, oh, wow. West Hill Wagon Works. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. He says, hi, Sam. Hope you're having a cracking day. Love the effort you put into your videos. Grab a small wagon from us. Oh, thank you so much. That is really, really kind of you. And uh, tell you what, with prices like these, I could perhaps, uh, well, three for ten pounds, I can grab three wagons on you. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. OK, let's see what this one is. So another one in a bag. Let's see. I love this because I can show you up close now. Uh, we'll, we know, we're not going to go into too much detail on these because I think you'll all uh, cast yourself off a tall building. But there we go. I'll pick that one because it's got uh, metal wheels, clean metal wheels too. Uh, I think it's been repainted. It looks like a bit of a, a dodgy repaint or there's at least some splodge down on the bottom there. But uh, yeah, either way, it's quite nice. Uh, again, for what, £3 or something like that, £3.33 to be exact. It's not too bad. This one I thought was quite good for three quid. So this one is not in a bag. It's a, a Dapple wagon, I think it is. Yeah, and it's an NCB. Uh, well, let me show you. There we are. It's quite an old Dapple wagon. I don't, I don't know how modern it is. It's got a load in it already, which is quite nice. Oh, Sideways again. Uh, can you add some? Oh, OK. Yep, I can do that. Thank you very much again, Sideways. That's very good of you. Uh, so there we go. A Dapple wagon. It's not the most modern. It's got sort of oldish couplings on it. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, I think really you want a big rake of those. But uh, I've started one now. So uh, I'll keep a look out and see if I can find some more. I think actually, by the way, if you check Dapple's website, they've got some of those going cheap. Uh, not quite as cheap as I got them, but uh, still pretty cheap. Seven quid, something like that. OK, Chance and Hunt Limited. Now, there's a special reason why I picked this one up. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, plastic wheels, so that's not the special reason. But look, look there. Now that is real coal. I don't think I've ever had a real coal load in a wagon before. Uh, it's quite large. I mean, I don't know if a human man would be able to lift one of those pieces of coal in real life, because it is literally bigger than a man. But uh, I thought that looked rather nice. And uh, for three quid or so, I thought, yep, yeah, I'll pick that up. So that's very nice. I quite like that. Uh, yes, Mallard the Duck, soon you'll have uh, enough to make a swimming pool. <laughs> something like that. This uh, message is gone now. Uh, something about ocean wagons anyway. Okay, so next one. Ah, now this one. You won't believe this one. So this is a Backman made in China. Uh, it's uh, apparently, there's a little, let me show you this. There's a little label inside which says it's Backman Club. 2016 to 18 or it must be 17 uh, so this must be the Backman Collectors Club loco and as you can see it's nice and modern it's got uh, metal wheels with NEM couplings on it for three quid I thought that wasn't too bad and it's uh, RY Pickering and Company hmm that's quite nice and we've got a few more Backman wagons to come later on so uh, that's crazy uh, three quid I don't know if that was supposed to be in the three quid bin or not but uh, it sure was here's an interesting one then we have what looks like an LMS cattle van of some sort I think this has been uh, repainted but it's been repainted really well look at this you wouldn't necessarily know would you that that's been repainted the underframes in a bit of a brown and it's LMS I don't know if I've got any LMS uh, oh there's a bit of a Bit of a boo-boo on the roof. <laughs> I don't know where boo-boo came from. But uh, apart from that, that's not bad for three quid, is it? Mainline, quite, I quite like mainline wagons. They're pretty decent, aren't they? So that's that. Is anybody counting, by the way? What are we up to? Uh, okay, so this, I've never seen one of these before. It is Hornby Mineral Lime Company Limited. It's got metal wheels. Looks like a, a shed, basically. Let me show you this. <laughs> now, some people call diesels sheds. Uh, but that is a real shed. That is definitely a shed. Uh, but I quite like that. That's quite interesting. Again, I think they'd look better in a rake, but uh, at least I've got one. Oh! Well, somebody's pleased about that. I must have pressed that button by accident. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, we'll have a proper ooh, because these oh! are quite nice. Ooh, there we go. All right, so here's one that you <laughs> That noise. I don't know what possessed me to use that. So I've, I've shown one of these before. Um, let me get this up close. It's one of the Triang Toys uh, Pedigree Prams vans, which is a cool thing about this is it doubles up as a, a bit of a low loader, and you've probably seen those before. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got, uh, I think, one of those already, so uh, I can put them together now and uh, carry even more toys around on the railway, so that's quite cool. All right, so... Second to last one, this is another Dapol wagon. So we're doing quite well on Dapol. Uh, again, might as well show you up close. So that is Hoare <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> what nice brothers they sound. Road metal and uh, what's that? Tar tarmac Cadam? Uh, I don't know. Uh, goodness knows. I can't see it properly. 
Uh, Dapol Limited, yes, and it's got metal wheels this time, which is quite nice. Uh, same old couplings, but uh, oops, finger covering the shot. Uh, but uh, either way, I don't have a problem with those, so quite pleased with that lot. Okay, last one. You ready for this? It's a mystery box. Even I don't know what's inside this. It was in the three for ten pounds bin, uh, but it's got a five pounds sticker on it, which uh, intrigued me a bit. Uh, so it might be something amazing. It might not even be a wagon. There's no label. Literally, there's nothing on this box at all. Uh, so it was a bit of a gamble, but I thought for three quid I will buy it and uh, just hope there's nothing terrifying inside. I'm sure there won't be, but let's see. Quite exciting, I ought to do this. Uh, well, it's all right, that's not too bad. It's one of the more boring wagons, unfortunately. Let's show it to you. <laughs> well, I guess the excitement disappeared pretty quick on that one, but uh, either way, that's all right, isn't it? So yeah, that's quite uh, it's quite a good lot at three for ten quid. I thought those were quite nice. What do people think about that? Insert woe sound on the Hall brothers. <laughs> yeah, I should have done actually. Uh, it is a surprise, although not a very good surprise. Uh, Mallard the duck as well says magic box. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that wasn't more exciting. I thought I don't know what I thought would come out of it, but. Uh, I had hoped it would be something a bit more exciting. I thought, I suppose I should check these things. So there we go. That's the first. Uh, this is very dangerous. Ah, there you go. That, hopefully that you, you had chance to uh, take all of that in because I'm going to get rid of this now before I drop it. I mean, it would make good content, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to drop it. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready for the next lot? So these these are going to take a while because they're boxed. So I uh, hope you're uh, ready for the long haul on these. So Backman wagons, as you can see. Now I don't, as I say, I've not had these out, so they might be new. They might not be. They have a price of thirteen ninety five on the top. They have a second sticker. Um, behind it which says seven pounds on top of the seven pound sticker there's six pounds uh, so uh, yeah goodness knows what he was asking for these but uh, apparently the guy at the train seller stand um, the guy at the train seller stand at the train store anyway the stand whatever you know um, he says he's brought these to quite a few train fares and he's not been able to shift them so uh, he's knocked the prices right down and i bought quite a few as you can see and so we ended up knocking 50 pence off each. So £5.50 each. They are boxed, they are modern, so we'll see what these are like. Again, this is all in the vein of trying to get some, uh, some more modern rolling stock. So this is a five-plank wagon, uh, five wagon with W.H. Wallace and Co. Ah, yes. Right, let's get this out and see what it's like. Um, I'm going to just have to chuck the packaging to one side and tidy up the mess later because uh, I don't want to waste too much time of the stream. So there we go. Right, let's have... Oh, it's nice got some Hornby ones that are like this. Look at that. That can't be bad for the money, can it? Nem couplings, metal wheels. Very nice. That's lovely. Nice red colour as well. I do like a, a nice red wagon. Right, let's move this bag. Let's get another one. Okay, and that looked new, by the way. There, was, there wasn't a mark on that one. So this one, again, £6, so it's the same price. Slightly older box, but uh, the model still looks quite good. Uh, okay, so that one is another seven plank wagon, Royal Leamington Spa, it says. Okay, wow. It's another very nicely painted wagon, this. Oops, I've got a real junk pile building up. Okay, there it is. What do you reckon to that one, then? That's not bad, is it? It's nicely painted. Don't think the buffers are sprung. <laughs> a big finger covers it the entire shot. No, not sprung, but uh, either way, a very nicely painted wagon. I love those. And Afternoon, Ladybug and Cat Noir. How can how do you count the planks? I'm not absolutely sure. It must be something to do with the width or the height of the wagon or something like that. I'm not sure, as with most things. Okay, another Backman wagon, six pounds it says. Let's just uh, rattle through these, shall we? I won't bother reading the ends of the boxes. I'm sure you can look them up. Uh, there's a bit of a nasty looking uh, smear on the front of this box. Obviously somebody likes Backman wagons a little bit too much, but uh, yes, I'm not going to put my fingers on that too much. Let's put that to one side. Uh, oh, Trainfan28. Thank you very much, Trainfan28. And uh, yep, you are entered to win old brisket there. Uh, congratulations. Okay, Fondon. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it's got some... There we are, a bit of plastic stuck inside it there. Yep, that's very nice. It's much the same level of detail. Very nice detail, in fact. Rugby, it says. Very nice. Again, nice lining on the wheels with that one as well. It's very nice. And there we go. Plenty of interior detail. And Colin White Weeks as well. Wikes, Weeks, whatever it is. Thank you so much for that. That's very, very kind of you. Uh, yeah, that, that's very generous. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. 
Blimey, this is getting, this is taking a while. I'm sorry if this is boring. Is this boring? Let me know. <laughs> Count the height of the planks, said David Stevens. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, there you go. That's your that's your question answered. So, David Parsons and some. Wow, I like this one. This one's pretty tiny, actually. Oh gosh. I'm looking forward to cleaning that up later. I'll have to show you the pile at the end. David Parsons and Sons. It's gone a bit blue. It's thrown the white balance, that one. Blimey, it's a, a wagon from out of space. There we go. Very nice. I like the size of that. It's tiny. And Lewis Hughes, thank you very much to you for that. Uh, you're entered the competition. Hope you win. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one's interesting. Jay Skinner. It's got uh, quite the uh, shade of green on this one. So let's take a look. Breaking news, I'm going back to school and I'm not happy about that, says Los Trenes. Uh, well, nobody's happy about that, but uh, it's better than going out and getting a job. <laughs> Lewis Hughes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, don't don't uh, wish your school days away. Definitely not. Uh, anybody that's been through school will uh, tell you they didn't like it at the time, but it's sure better than what they're in now. So, yeah, don't wish them away. Jay Skinner, and I must say, look at those. These wheels on basically every single one I've got are perfectly clean. I've not seen a dirty one yet, so that's crazy. That's very, very good. Uh, yeah, I'm impressed with these. These are great. And they keep coming. I don't know how many there are. Uh, now, this one was labelled at £7, so he knocked 50 pence each off. So uh, I got this for £6.50. That still didn't sound too bad. Uh, it's quite a generic Great Western wagon. I don't know why it's more expensive than the rest. Uh, we'll take a look and see if it's any different. Nope. Doesn't seem to be. I suppose Great Western stuff is uh, popular, I guess, and it's quite generic, so you could uh, use it in a lot of different circumstances, I suppose. But there we go. Yep, very, very nice. Lovely little wagon, that. Uh, right, let's get some of these done. There's not many left. Not many left. Just a few. Okay. So, ooh, Tob, uh, Tob, you, ah, goodness knows. I can't, I'm not in the mood for reading difficult words right now. <laughs> so this was another six pounds. Tar, tar bit. Tarbitumac, Tarbitumac, I don't know, oops, nearly said the wrong thing there. Right, let's get this one out. Here we go. Man, it's uh, starting to obstruct the light, is that? I'll have to show you this, uh, or I'll show you that later. We've uh, still got some more to do. So there it is, the uh, impossible to pronounce wagon. There's a lot of painted detail on that one, look at that. Yeah, it's all pretty tiny, is that? But uh, yeah, very nice. Again, NEM couplings, metal wheels. Can't fault that one. Okay, I think that was the last of the Backman ones. We've got some Hornby ones to come now. These were six pounds as well. This one is our oh, 6337. Very nice. <laughs> Let's get this one out there. And, uh, trim Serin, uh, Trim, trim Serin, Serin. <laughs> Blimey, why do these companies have such difficult names? to pr pr pronounce. Right, now this one is tiny. So what's this? Is this Would this be a three plank wagon then? Let's have a look. Look at the size of that. How shallow is that? Let me have a look at the label. Three plank wagon, yes. I've figured out how to determine the size of wagons. I love that one. I think that might be my favorite so far. That one's very, very nice. Uh, so there we go. And it's a bit of a, like a pronunciation test if anybody uh, wants to test them uh, at home. See if you can pronounce that. <laughs> No doubt you'll do better than I did. Okay. Oh, this one's quite big. So we've gone from the tiny to the uh, much larger now. There we are. Look at that one. That's a bit bigger. Same price, though. That's not bad. Still six quid, so £5.50 on that. Uh, so these are a little cheaper, in fact. But they don't seem to be a lot worse off. They're perhaps a little older. I don't know. Uh, they haven't got them coupling, so they're perhaps x dapple stock, maybe, or something similar to that. Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four. So is that five plank? Oh, I'm gonna get this wrong and people are gonna laugh or be annoyed, uh, one or the other. There we are, look at that. It's quite nice, interesting shade of brown, not too much on that one in the way of paintwork and things, but uh, that's all right. It's still quite quite attractive looking, really. Yeah, I don't mind that. Hey, I'm it's gonna be great putting all these together. Uh, I've never had super detailed wagons, really. I've got one or two that I bought uh, you know, just by chance, but uh, never a, a decent amount of them. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite something when I get these going. But uh, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. You know, as someone who doesn't like mess, this is uh, difficult to do. <laughs> I'll have to show you that. Right, Princess Royal. Oh, I can say that. I can say that. There's nothing wrong with that, unless it says something completely different on there, and I've misread it. <laughs> no, I think we're okay. Princess Royal Colliery. There we are. Another nice wagon, very nicely painted that. Uh, all the couplings are screwed onto that one, but again, look how clean the wheels are. I was expecting these to be used for those prices. Ooh. 
There we go. Right. So that's it. I think that's it for the box stuff. We've got just a few more in a bag here that I got from someone else. I think this was three for ten pounds as well. Oh, would you believe it? Another one of those boring wagons. Well, they're not boring, but uh, they're not as exciting as, say, if this had have come out of that mystery box, I would have been chuffed to bits because uh, that would have been unexpected. But no, it was this. Quite old, but I've got quite a few of them. So, uh, you know, I can make a, a decent rig with those now. So that's quite nice. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got one of these uh, box fans. Uh, that was another Hornby one, yeah. Uh, looks very nice. I've, again, I've got perhaps two or three of those, so I can put them together, and they uh, look quite nice and uniform together. Sorry, Phil. I know you don't like when I do that. And, uh, yeah, another one here that I've got quite a few of, uh, KP Peanuts. There we are. Put this one up close for you, for any Peanut fans. There we go. I'm not a massive fan of Peanuts myself, but uh, I know a lot of people are, so uh, there you go. Ooh, Peanuts. Out of focus. Okay, there we go. No actual peanuts inside, so you can still own these. Ooh, yep, nothing inside. I suppose you could put peanuts in there, but it, would, it wouldn't be sanitary, really, would it? Okay, so let me lift these out of the way. Ah. Now, this is scary because these wagons are a bit more expensive. Ah. There we go. Can you see those? <laughs> Looking at the screen is not a good idea while you're doing that. Right, where am I going to put these? Right, put them somewhere safe. So there we go. I think that's one of my more successful train fare trips. Hey, there was a loco. What have I done with the loco? I don't know why I'm looking under there. It can't be under there. Um, hmm. That's odd. Where on earth has that gone then? Hmm. Ah. I, I wonder if I unboxed it. Right, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. I'm having a meltdown here. Okay. I'll have to just bring it in. I'd forgotten this, but I've already taken it out of the box because obviously, as a second-hand loco, I wanted to service it. Ta-da! Now, this, to be truthful, didn't come from the train fare. This came from eBay, but I thought I'd include it just so I can show a loco. So, it's a Hudson. It's from the Chicago and Milwaukee St. Paul Pacific Railroad. Now, that's a mouthful. Try saying that if you've had a few. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's another Mahano. Hang on. <laughs> oh, this is scary. Let me see if I can get a, at least a bit of it up close for you. Oh, that's too close. There we are. What do you reckon to that then? It's quite nice. Loco drive, of course. Look at that for a, a big lamp on the front and a big bell on the front. You'll have to pretend you haven't seen this because I'm going to put it back in the box after this and uh, do a review on it one day. So, uh, But that's a sneak peek anyway. It's quite nice. It runs pretty good as well. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'd forgotten that I'd taken it out of the box. I perhaps would have put it back in if I'd have remembered. Oh, Simon Haywood. Thank you very much for that, Simon. I do appreciate that. Uh, and you are entered into the one of, well, well, I say one of the competitions. It is all one and the same competition, but uh, whatever you win, well, I'm not saying you will win, but if you do win, uh, congratulations. I don't know what I'm saying here. Anyway, right, let's see what's next up. Right, so let me know then. What do you reckon to that lot? Uh, do you think I got some good deals? What was your favourite? Uh, let me know. Yeah, Sam lost the loco, said Mallard the Duck. I don't know how I managed that. Uh, must have had a bit of a, a brainstorm on that one. Um, but yeah, it was a Mahano, and it has got a box. Um, but yes, as I say, uh, I wanted to service it, because if it didn't work, I wanted to take it back, obviously. Um, but it does, it does work, I think. So yes, it seems all right. Uh, shout out, please. Stop motion and more. An American train. Yeah, I should have said that. I think it is American. Well, it is American. Yes. Uh, Colin Weeks. Hello, Sam. You're welcome. Love peanuts and hate peanut, peanut butter. Yeah, I don't like peanut butter. Uh, some people that don't like peanuts do like peanut butter, but no, sadly, it's a little strong for me. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a big nut fan, really. <laughs> Check out Snup, said Pacific CY. Yeah, we could do that one day if there's time, yes. Um, Yo Robles says, can I get a shout out? Yes, you can. There you go. Thank you for joining. Uh, very cool American HO scale Berkshire steam locomotive. Is it a Berkshire? I thought it was a Hudson. Oh, it might be. No, I'm, I think it is a Hudson. It says Hudson on the box. I hope it's got the right box. I think it does. Uh, can I have a shout out? I do train spotting and model railway. says, Ned's Trains. Yes, you can. And that sounds like a, a good set of hobbies to me. Train Watch Ashby, shout out. Uh, and Anjishnu <laughs> Day. Hey, Sam. Thank you for making me try and pronounce that. Uh, but hi to you two. Piggy Nice 18, Jelly's Trains. I'll give you a shout out, Jelly. I hope you were there. Um, Axel, there you go. Uh, it's me, Taco Studios 1123. Every Tuesday, he pops up with a Taco Tuesday comment. So uh, there you go. Glad to see you. Ethan's or Ethan's Trains. He's crying again. I don't know why. Uh, I've already given you a shout out, but there you go. You can have it again. 
Uh, some of the Hudsons were streamlined, says Inferno the Game Guy. Yes, they were. I'd love to have a Hudson uh, that's streamlined, but uh, that one wasn't. Oh, I didn't tell you the price. Mm. What did I pay for it? There we are, put it behind the camera. Oops. Oops, I'm knocking things. Nearly had Bullman sailing off the shelf there. Um, I paid £45 for that, uh, Hudson. It's crazy, that, isn't it? Really, really good. Yvonne Thompson, Pullman Observation. Yes, I'd love to get one of those as well. That'd be good. Oh, William Town. Okay, he's off to the Branch Line wheel Weekend at the Bluebell Railway next Sunday. Ah, I see. Uh, what was the rest of that comment? Uh, the O2 from the Isle of Wight and a Betty Well Tank from the NRM are coming. Wow, that sounds awesome. I've never seen a Betty Well Tank in the flesh. Uh, but enjoy it. That does sound very, very awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of a break now, just for five minutes. Uh, I'm going to clear these engines off the track and I'm going to set up a few more requests. Uh, so I will see you all in just a second. Uh, go and get yourself a, a cup of tea or whatever you want, uh, refreshment. I'll tell you what, though. I better show you my, uh, my big, big mess. Uh, how, how can I do this? Oh, man. Right, you ready? I'm sorry about this. If anyone gets seasick, you can send me your medical bills. Man, look at that lot. Now, the question is whether or not to keep all of these boxes, because uh, I don't like throwing boxes away, because it, it uh, devalues the models. But if I decide to keep them, I've got to find a creative place to put them. Yeah. But there we go, that's the, uh, the junk pile. Uh, that will be a nightmare for later on, I think. Uh, we won't bother with that now. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back in just a second or two. Thank you all very much for joining. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, I quite enjoy the old train fair videos. Uh, so yeah, be right back in just a second. Take care, folks, and I will see you very shortly. <laughs>
Okay folks, I am back. Blimey, that lot did take quite a long time to set up. Uh, so yes, top marks for creativity on those um, on those requests. I've had to have a bit of a think about how I'm going to do some of those. So anyway, welcome back. If you've only just joined, we've been doing uh, lots of train fair unboxings and if you're watching this on catch up, I hope you enjoyed seeing those and obviously you can skip back and see them uh, if you haven't. Um, there's been lots of requests sent in, so thank you all very, very much for those and to everybody that sent a super chat already, thank you so much. Uh, you're all entered to win. Uh, brisket here with his own brisket certificate there we go and also if you don't want a big cow on your layout you can also choose to have the um, shunters truck I guess I will let the winners decide that uh, between themselves uh, once they've been drawn in week five but uh, yeah either way good luck to everybody that's entered uh, how's everybody going aloha says Carlos welcome back uh, it's me taco studios 1123 says wow I don't know what he's wowing at but uh, either way <laughs> Uh, Steam Fanatic, hi Sam, Ned Strains, he's back, yes, I'm back. Uh, cup of tea for the Bullman, yes, the old Bullman is having a bit of a cup of tea over there. <laughs> So we'll get onto those requests in just a second. Thank you all for the requests. Any more that come in today, we'll have to carry over to next week because I've got enough really to fill up this episode with. So we'll get onto those in just a bit of a second. Uh, but first of all then, I thought we would do a little bit of uh, Wall of Fame stuff. So as you can see, the Wall of Fame is growing up nicely behind me. If you want to submit any photo for me to show on the stream and uh, then put it up on the Wall of Fame, all you have to do is, ah, Scared me. Jason Briggs. Oh, thank you very much. Where's the best place to get a mainline loco serviced? I'm not absolutely sure, to be honest with you, although I've got lots of tutorials on how to do it. So if you fancy giving it a try yourself, um, check one of those out and uh, at least decide maybe if it's uh, easy enough for you to do or, you know, if you're brave enough to try it. They are quite difficult, daunting things to do. Um, but uh, yeah, they're not too bad. But yeah, either way, if you want to submit a photo to go up on the Wall of Fame, you can just email it to me, uh, samstrains at outlook.com, but the email address is in the description. So here we have a few leftover from a previous week. So we have Vincent B who sent this in. What engine is that? Looks like a J15, if my reckoning is correct. So there we go. That's very nice. Thank you for that, Vincent. Uh, that's beautiful. I can't wait to get that up on the wall. Uh, we have this. I wasn't sure what this was to start with. This is from Thomas the Tank Engine 70. Uh, it looks like a Brio wooden train of some sort that he's uh, repainted, but uh, it's in like a, it's wrapped in some sort of, I don't know, ID badge or something. But uh, either way, thank you very much for that. Uh, that goes into the unusual pile, but as you know, I do like uh, unusual stuff. Uh, here's one that I do recognize though from Super Creature. That is the Hornby Peckett lovely thing as it is so thank you very much for sending in that i will uh, gladly put that up on the wall we've got quite a few pecket photos up there uh, okay so ryan a sent in this one and it's very well done i don't know how old ryan is but he's done a very good job at uh, drawing old thomas there it looks very very good uh, far better than i could do and i bet he's uh, a, a fraction of my age but either way that's very very good well done uh, Callum B sent this, a lovely pannier tank, 9681, absolutely love that, uh, that's going to look lovely, and I like having these tall photos as well, because they fit into uh, odd tight spots on the wall of fame, so that's great. Now, Lewis Hughes sent me this one, this is uh, the previous Bullman prize that uh, got sent uh, in its new home, and I asked Lewis if he would send me uh, a photo once he got it, just to prove that I wasn't just keeping them and <laughs> auctioning off the same one every uh, every stream. So, uh, no, as you can see, they really do get sent, and there is Lewis's there. And talk of the devil, that that is weird, Lewis. That's weird, because there's a delay on this, so Lewis couldn't have known that I was showing this. Oh, that's spooky. Normally, at this point, I'd go downstairs and uh, cover myself in a dark room and uh, try not to think about how creepy that was. But uh, can't do that right now, so we'll carry on. So finally, we have Matthew G. Looks like he's uh, actually got uh, a volunteering job there on uh, an actual railway, and uh, he's oiling up the valve gear of some massive steam loco. So that's very, very cool. I do like that. Uh, it's always nice to see volunteers actually working on models, isn't it? I've got a couple of those on the Wall of Fame, so that's awesome. Okay, and I also get uh, one or two comments every now and then asking whether or not people can send me physical drawings and things to put on the Wall of Fame. And yes, you can. So for these five weeks only, the PO Box will be opening up again. So there it is. That's the address. I pointed the wrong way. I did this when I was practicing. I went, there's the address. 
and know it's there. Uh, so there's the address. If you want to send me anything to uh, show on stream, uh, just pictures and drawings, by the way. Don't send me any railway stuff because, as you can see, um, I've got rather enough of that and I just feel terrible taking it off people. But if you want me to open something to read on stream or just a picture to put up on the wall of fame, you can do that and there, there we go, that was smoother wasn't it, I'll do this next week, I'll practice pointing in this direction. Uh, so that's the address if you want to send something to me and uh, thank you very much in advance for anybody that decides to. How do we switch this off? Oh no, wrong button, ooh, there we go, switch that off, no, there we go. <laughs> Typical, typical, I need to do something about that ooh button, uh, that's made too many noises today. Okay, so let's do some requests then. So, down on the track. So, on the outside line we have, ooh, this one's going to be exciting. So, this is another, another one from my members. Uh, so, Paul Lawrence asked for this one, and he's got the massive honour of having the first ever train running with my brand new Southern Coaches. So he asked for the Terrier with the E4 plus some Southern Coaches. So yes, those Southern Coaches are indeed the uh, the brand new ones that I've only just unboxed. So I'm very excited um, about getting those to run. Hopefully they're not going to derail on all the curves and things. If they did that, uh, that would be a bitter disappointment. But uh, no, hopefully they won't. Okay, and then on the middle line, we have Jack Clark, who asked, well, in fact, sorry, on the outside line, or inside line, what am I saying? Uh, we have what is actually a beautiful, beautiful double header. So he asked for the Duchess of Rutland and Evening Star double heading with a Pullman train. And just look what a wonderful looking train that is. That's uh, really wonderful. Again, I don't think I've ever double headed those together. And then finally, Williamtown asked to see the, oh no, damn. I think he was. I think he wanted me to change his request, didn't he? Sorry, William. I will do the other request next week as well. So there you go. That's my mistake. Sorry about that. Uh, either way, I think this was his first one. Sorry, it was such a faff. I um, to get all these sorted. I just went through and read them off very quick without really looking at the names. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, this is a nice one. Anyway, it's the East Kent Railway. Um, Adams radial tank, which doesn't work very well, by the way. But hopefully, it will at least work a little bit with a four-wheel coach, a box van, and two clerestory teaks on the back. So thank you very much, everybody, for those. Let's try these southern coaches. And they're moving without derailing, so that's good. And they ought to be good. I mean, they, they should be better than what I've used in the past. There's the uh, Adams radial tank, which is quite a slow runner, but I'm hoping it will survive all right. And then, of course, we have the wonderful double header with Evening Star and Duchess of Rutland. So thank you very much for those. We'll be doing a, another round of requests in just a second. And to anybody that doesn't get to, seen to tonight, uh, don't worry, I will do them next week. You certainly won't be forgotten. And I think I can hear a derailment. Yes, I can. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was kind of joking about them derailing, um, but uh, no, they seem to have done. Uh, the actual problem is I've got quite a large coupling on this. Uh, is it this coupling? You know, I'm not sure exactly which one's derailed now. I'm sure I could hear one. Was I just imagining that? Oh, no, no, it is this first one. Uh, yeah, it's got this E4 has got uh, a large coupling on it, a large D-shaped one um, to fit my other coaches. Uh, so if that's filed it, we're, we might be in trouble today. But uh, we'll try that again. See if it can make it round. Ah, what was that? Right, let me go and see very quick, very quick. Uh, Lewis Hughes. Oh, thank you again, Lewis. Thank you very much. And uh, by the way, yes, you can enter the competitions um, once per stream, so you can have multiple entries. But to only once per stream, obviously, if people send loads and loads, it's a bit unfair. Oh, man. Those southern coaches don't seem to like my railway. Uh, we're going to have to... Ah, it's jammed. Okay. Hang on, then. I'll tell you what, this calls for some invasive surgery. <laughs> Right, you're going to see what happens now when something gets stuck behind the bookcase. It's, uh, first of all, it's an absolute nuisance when it happens um, because it's the one place in the room that's difficult to get to. Um, but we will try and get to it. The other thing is, you're going to have to watch it this time because all of the reviews that I'm saving that I don't want people to know about are kept in a box under here. So just avert your eyes for a second because I don't want to spoil surprises. <laughs> There we go. You won't see too much, I don't think. Right, let's see if we can fix this then. Honestly, what a pain. <laughs> right, it could be that I just put them on wrong. That's the nicest possible explanation. Right, let's put this box back and just uh, hope to goodness that uh, they don't come off again. Let's hope so. Right, let's try again. 
Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry to everybody else. <laughs> the other requests are working just fine. That's the thing. They've never been run before, so I've not had a chance to troubleshoot them or you know look at them mechanically or anything like that. However, I must say they look gorgeous, don't they? They look really, really lovely. Is it working now? <laughs> we'll have to try it. We'll have to try one lap and see if we can get one lap to complete properly. We'll come back to that in a second. The others are going round the back. There we go. Hello. Blimey, that was a bit of drama, wasn't it? I knew it was going to happen, though, because it always does. If something's going to go wrong, it goes wrong on these streams. Right, let's watch these southern coaches this time, like a hawk. I'll tell you what, if, the, if it gets round this time, I'm going to be so pleased, I'm going to press the ooh button. And uh, we will. Uh, I think we'll all be glad to hear it. Right, so it was somewhere here. Keep a close eye on it. This was the problem zone. Come on, cross your fingers. Oh no, I think it's off again. Is it? I'm not sure. If it is, I'm going to fix it before it goes under the bookcase. No, I don't think it is. Oof. Was it? I couldn't tell for sure. It, when it goes over that next set of points, we'll know. Uh, it seemed alright, okay. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's see. If it happens again, I am going to have to watch my language. <laughs> no, it seems all right. And I noticed the time before it, it brushed the, um, the other train as well. I thought we were going to have a massive derailment. Uh, but no, it seems to... No, I think we're okay. Whew! Well, I'm glad about that. Crikey. My cat is amused with my train, says Master Gamer 704 Well, I'm glad that even cats get some amusement from these things. Uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to bring these to a stop now, because uh, that Adam's radial tank, I've just noticed, has started another lap, and we'll be here until about next week, if we have to wait for it to come all the way around. So, uh, oh, look at this. They're all going to arrive at exactly the same time. It's almost as though I planned it that way, although quite obviously I didn't. Okay, let's stop those. Cool. Actually, that Adam's radial tank has never worked as well as that, so at least something works during these streams. <laughs> so thank you for those requests, folks. Thank you, thank you. That was very cool. Uh, so let us set up some more, shall we? Unless I've got another point of order I wanted to talk about. Uh, nope, I don't think I'd have. So let's get my pen and uh, let's figure out what else is to come. So again, if it was... Um, Let's see, who was it, Williamtown? Oh, no, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't. Uh, okay, so we're okay. It was the ugly duck man that changed his mind, uh, So and we haven't done that one yet, so we're okay, we're okay. I should have said, I should have known that all along. Right, I can cross that out then, there we go. Okay, so we've done the Adams Radio, so it was Paul, I'm just going to say Paul, I, if I try and say that name again, I'll be pushing my luck. Uh, so it's the 7F, 10 to first, first, break, and coal. Well, I put some coal on. Uh, if the 7F has got a front coupling, that should be fine. If not, it might not have to be tender first, but we'll see. Um, steam traction spotter, 9F on a large, yep. 9F on a large freight set. I can put some of that new freight on. Shall we do that? I think so. And then Duckman, the 37 with mega boxes. And I'll just check there aren't too many more other than that to do. Um, yeah, I think that'll be okay. Uh, so I'll do I'll do these three now, and then the others I will do first thing next week. So hopefully that's all right. And I did say we would have a bit of a sound effect because those southern coaches got all the way around. So. Whoa! There we go. Right, let's go and do it then. Let's take these off. And uh, right, let's first of all see if there's anything we can keep. Uh, now, because Duckman changed his mind, annoyingly, we can't keep the uh, Pullman coaches on anymore. But that's okay. So, never mind. <laughs> we'll get them off. So, come on, Evening Star. Let's get you uncoupled. I don't normally talk to my locos, by the way. I'm not like a, a mental patient or something. But uh, I suppose it makes the streams a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Okay. Right, let's get these... Uh, Actually, that's a complete lie. I've just realised I, I do actually talk to them quite a bit, especially when they misbehave. Um, but, uh, oh well, judge me if you like. Okay, let's see, was there anything else? Yeah, we're going to take all these off, I think. Right, let's get these clear. 
I don't like putting the engines down on the floor, but the rolling stock's all right. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm pleased about the uh, the freight train, though, because, oh, I can keep the 9F, actually. Um, oh, well, I can get that back. Um, yeah, because I can try some of that new freight that I've bought. I can't wait to see that. Uh, these southern coaches I am quite happy with overall. I will have to do some experimental running with them to see if it was just the uh, the coupling on the E4 that was to blame or whether we've got an actual problem with those. Um, but either way, again, if I'd have paid 40 quid each, I would have been a bit more annoyed. But uh, yeah, no, they're, they're all right, aren't they? They're not too bad. Right. Mr. 9F, you are... Whoa, you're going to have a good day today, son. You've got some freight. I'm doing it again. He's talking to him. I need to stop. That's strange. Right. There we go. So there's the 9F. Um, I suppose ideally you wouldn't... Ah, no, it's not on right. I suppose ideally you would want my uh, BR Black 9F. Um, but uh, just in the interests of time, I, uh, I ain't going to do that. So let's put the larger coupling stuff on first because that will be pushed to the back. And uh, yeah, after last time, I'm going to try and match the couplings as best I can, just so that we don't end up with uh, massive amounts of derailments. So let's just put this uh, this tray full on, shall we, and see how this all looks together. Uh, I think that's all the, the large couplings done. Ah, these are so nice. They're silky smooth. Look at this. I mean, I don't know if you can tell the smoothness just by looking, but uh, yeah, they just uh, run along beautifully smoothly. And uh, it's always, because of course most of my wag, uh, locos do have these slim couplings on them, so it's, uh, it's nice to have some wagoners that have got the same. So there we go, that's the 9F sorted. Uh, so now we need the 7F. Uh, let's find out. I have a feeling that it does actually have a front coupling on it. So if it does, then we should be okay, I think. Where is it? Let's move this tray. There we are. 7F, where are I? Oh, there we go. Yes, it has. It's got a front coupling. So he made it sound like he wanted a break first, so we'll do that. Um, I mean, it's a bit unsafe, isn't it? But uh, that's my railway in, in a nutshell, isn't it? So I think we'll be all right with that. And uh, we'll put some of those, uh, well, we'll put some of those wagons on that I called boring earlier on, um, because uh, I think they, uh, I don't really know what they would carry, really. Maybe they would have coal. Um, not 100% sure on that, but uh, we'll, we'll bug them on anyway. It should look nice with it. So there we go. Look at that. How many wagons carried in one go there? There we go. I ought to go for a world record attempt, didn't I? Although that's asking for trouble, because that uh, that would start a massive competition, wouldn't it? That Right. This is where it would be handy to have a re-railer, wouldn't it? But uh, luckily, I'm doing all right with these. These are going on quite easy. Uh, so yeah, although it pains me to do it, I'll put the brake van right there at the front of the train. There we go. So that's that. Uh, let's see what the other one was then. So it was the Class 37 with mega boxes. All right then. Well, I've got to dig through my uh, cupboard and find the Class 37, or one of them. Oh, you've got the uh, the Regional Railways Class 37 was the first one that uh, burst into view. So we'll put that on. This one is actually DCC fitted, so we'll be a bit naughty and try and run it on DC. And uh, if it doesn't work, I don't know what we'll do. I'll have to get the other one. I ah, know it's going to work with mega boxes. Oh, good, because the mega boxes like derailing as well. But I suppose that's because they're absolutely massive. Right, where are my mega boxes? That's the big question. Where have I put them? Ah, yes, yes, they're in my new cabinet. Well, it's not a new cabinet anymore. But trouble is, I don't. I don't really run the mega boxes very often, do I? Because, frankly, they'd, they'd look a bit odd with the kind of steam locos I normally look at. But uh, So, yeah, I always uh, struggle to remember where I keep them. <laughs> All right, I've just put four on, because uh, uh, you obviously don't want to sit and watch me rail up about six mega boxes or seven or eight, uh, in one go. So we'll just put four on. And even four mega boxes makes a big train, doesn't it? Because they're so... Massive, they really are. I mean, I guess that's why they're called mega boxes. It shouldn't be a big surprise, should it, that they're big? But uh, okay, here we go. Oh, that 9F again. Still not on properly. Or is it? It looks like it is on properly, but it's uh, not happy. Oh, no, it isn't. Yeah. The wheels have got quite a lot of give on them on that, so it can look like they're on properly, but they're not. There we go, that's better. Ah, look at this. It's all working. No squeaking either. That's quite a novelty. 
They've not been oiled. I've not done anything. Well, I mean, you've seen them come out the box. Okay, and the 37. There we go. Lovely. Right, well, I, I don't know what's going to happen with those mega boxes. I think they're going to derail, but uh, if they do, we'll be watching. So, never mind. I like transport, says Class 37 and mega boxes double. Yay. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like that one. Keep saying I like Sam's train, says Michael Brown. Oh, well, I, I won't complain if you keep saying that. I think some people might find it a bit monotonous. But uh, no, I'll, I'll take it. Hello. I'm sorry about the lack of brake van on the back of that 9F train. But uh, uh, all these modern backman wagons have got beautiful brake rigging on them already. So uh, I'm sure there won't be an accident. But if there is, never mind. Right. Let's see if we can catch this 7F doing a nice fly by. Ah, look at that. I love that thing. There we go. What an interesting idea as well. Tender first with the tender and then the wagons. Did that sort of thing ever really happen in real life? Hmm. Well, it's interesting anyway. Not that everything that happens on my railway has ever happened in real life. Uh, some of the things that have happened certainly haven't. <laughs> One or two things spring to mind. There we go. Oh, there go the mega boxes again. Hey, the mega boxes. They've managed to complete a lap without derailing. That's uh, that's commendable, isn't it? That's pretty good. Oh, good. Well, I'm pleased about that. And all of my wagons from uh, Backman and Hornby that I bought at the train fair seem to be uh, pretty sure-footed, don't they, actually? I've not had any derailments there. <laughs> And then that's when it, every single one of them bursts off the track and smashes into a thousand pieces completely spontaneously. Nope, nope, they're good. I'm, I like those. Uh, they perhaps want a bit more, uh, I don't know, matching normally. It's all a bit uh, topsy-turvy there, isn't it? But uh, yeah, if, with a bit of thought, I'm sure they would fit into quite a few nice trains. Right, there's the 37. I sped it up quite blimey. Oh yeah, of course, it's DCC fitted, so... If you uh, turn the power up a little bit on DC, they, they do tend to fly. But no, that's good. I like that. Thank you for those requests. And uh, sorry to everyone else who's made requests that I haven't gotten around to today. Um, but I will get to those next week. Uh, in fact, first thing next week. So uh, thank you to everybody, especially to the, the, uh, the guys that suggested these three trains. Uh, they are very, very nice. So I think just before I sign off then, we will go through and I will just thank everybody that's uh, sent a Super Chat uh, donation today. Uh, and all of these people, by the way, are entered for, uh, what's his name again? Brisket, there we go. <laughs> it's the, uh, the problem is I had to think of about 30 different B names uh, and choose between them. So there's all sorts of names flowing through my head at the moment. But no, Brisket was the one I went for. And of course, the Shunter's truck. And uh, what a good, did you like that, by the way, that review? Uh, they really are good models, aren't they, those Shunter's trucks? I didn't think it was going to be for, for what I paid for six quid. Six quid. But no, it was. It was very good. So here we go. The master list. Are you ready? Thank you to all of these folks. So Lewis Hughes, Lego Master 365, Charles Curtis, Jack Clark, The Ugly Duck Man, William Town, Paul, uh, let's try it, Stern Itzike. <laughs> there we go. Sounded like a true foreigner then, didn't I? Uh, but no, I apologise, Paul. I'm, uh, well, teach me how to say your name and I'll try it next week. There we go. That's my little weekly challenge. Uh, Daniel Scott, Lewis Hughes, Steam Traction Spotter, Milo McQuillan, The Ugly Duck Man, ACB, uh, Mark Matthews, JB Dolan Studios, Sideways, West Hill Wagon Works, Sideways again, uh, Trainfan28, Colin Wakes, uh, Lewis Hughes, Simon Hayward, William Town, AZ Rail, oh by the way he said, ever considered getting the A1 Great Northern? Uh, I would like that actually, yes, an A1 uh, Great Northern livery, that would be wonderful. Um, not really considered it, but I would do if, if uh, one came along for the right price. Ollie Turf 26, Jason Briggs, Lewis Hughes and Lewis Hughes again. So thank you all very much to you guys, I really do appreciate all of the support and again you guys, these little tips don't seem like a lot, I know, although some of them are, um, but it really does add up and it, it means that I can carry on doing what I love, which is uh, these videos for you guys. So uh, truly, thank you very much, everybody, for that. And uh, yes, I wish you all very good luck in the competition. All right, well, folks, I think I'm going to go now. That was thoroughly enjoyable. I've got a big mess to clean up, but I think for once it was definitely worth it. So let's go through and we'll do a few shout outs. If there was anybody desperate for a shout out, um, Caps lock. There we go. That's your that's your tip. Try and catch my eye with it, and I'll try and do that. Um, but either way, if I miss you out, I'm sorry. And again, <coughs> <coughs> blimey, sorry. That's what talking for over an hour does. 
If you sent a request in that I've not done already, don't worry, I'll be getting to them next week. And also to you engineers, uh, there is a post on the community tab, so if you want to submit your request, uh, do so on there, and I will get through those as the streams go on. I think it was Adam Rustin as well. Uh, you've got a request that I've got written down, so that will be next week or one of the other episodes as well. Uh, oh, Jack Clark, thank you very much for that. I'll get to that in, an, in another stream as well. Thank you very much. And, uh, oh, Gareth, uh, Gareth Waite as well. He says, Sam just started today's... Um, Sorry, just started today's love feed. Okay, big hello from me and the wife and two boys. Love your videos. Just got a dapple terrier from Basingstoke Train Exhibition. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very, very much for your support and enjoy the terrier. They are quite lovely things. All right, so let's see. Hi, Sam, see you in August. Why? What's happening in August? <laughs> Sparky, Sparky 107, 107. Run Southern Pacific Daylight. Okay, Angela, that sounds good. I will try and run the daylight another time. Uh, Peanut Tube HD, love the username. He says his layout is coming. Uh, it's disappeared off the top, sorry. But, uh, yep, yeah, good luck with the layout, if that's what you were saying. Gallium Gamer, there you go again. Yeet says Milo McQuillan. Please plug me in my Twitch account, says Class9002. There you go, there's your little plug. Uh, Luigi again, Maria, shout out. Sam, an important message for you, says Ethan's Trains. Well, drop it me in the comments in the description, then I'll, I know I won't miss it. Uh, Ewan's Trains and Buses, says shout out. There you go, I think that's your first one, isn't it? There you go. Zach Martin, shout out. Um, right, you a loser, you got hacked. Ha <laughs> ha. Says, run Mallard and the Flight Scotsman. Blimey, what a username that is. Uh, sure, I probably will be running those at some point. Those are very popular. Uh, shout out, please, Gene Lamb again, or Lam. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Again, I'm sorry. Um, oh, meant live feed, says Gareth. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you anyway. I appreciate it. Tom Wood, shout out. Um, Oh, and Adam, oh, Adam, uh, a loser, you got hacked, says he subscribed to you, so that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, and yeah, Adam Rushton says, uh, visit new railways this year, please. I would like to do that, yes, I ought to do. So, thank you all very, very much for watching. Uh, I, Ion Gunson, I don't know how I said that, I probably said it wrong, though. Normally, if there's a way to say it wrong, I will say it wrong. Uh, but I hope I got that right. Either way, thank you all very, very much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Well, hopefully before I've got some more videos. Uh, I might be doing another model news video on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. And Saturday, who knows, we might be looking at the new Hornby Terrier because they have released it. It just depends on whether I get it or not before Saturday. So fingers crossed. If not, it'll be the following week, I imagine. But uh, either way, Looking forward to that. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Thank you all for the support. Hope you enjoyed the show, of course, the little stream. Let's have one last look at those uh, final requests. There they are. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, as always. Oh, Sparky107107, just at the last minute, he says he's visiting the UK and he's meeting up with Matt Slade and the Model Railway YouTube community group. Uh, hope you take part. Oh, well, okay, well, I can look into that and find out where it is. And uh, if it's near me, then maybe, maybe. But uh, for now, folks, thank you once again. I, I have loved this. Thank you all for turning out to come and watch. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, sorry, I hope you enjoy next time, I should say. And I hope you enjoy tonight. So before I waffle on and make even less sense, I will uh, leave it there, I think. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. All right, cheers, everybody. Have a good week, and I will see you very soon. Hey folks, thank you very much for tuning into today's stream. I really hope you enjoyed that one. I'll be back next Sunday for another episode of Sam's Trains Live at 5 o'clock, so please feel free to join me there if you want to. For now though, folks, have a great week. I'll see you throughout the week with some more videos, and you will take care of yourselves. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody.